hello everyone you're welcome to nt farms and if you have not subscribed already to the channel or if you are new here remember to subscribe 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 leave a comment and also share our videos so today's video is going to be a little bit different because i'm going to be telling you about our pigs specifically how we feed them if you have been watching our videos then you know that nt farms is originally a poultry farm because we built the farm because of our beds. However, a friend of ours who is into pig farming encouraged us to try it out. And so he gave us four piglets. Currently, we have 11 pigs because one of our souls gave birth to seven piglets. But in the beginning, we had just four piglets. And just like the poultry, we had no experience whatsoever in this. But we were like, okay, let's just try it out and learn on the job. But little did we know that reality was going to set in. And by reality, I mean feeding the pigs. We found out that feeding them was quite expensive and it wasn't easy in the beginning. In my opinion, pigs are very simple and tough animals as compared to chickens. Chickens require special care and management, but pigs do not really require that much attention. So caring for them is not as difficult as chickens. The only demanding aspect is their feed. And from the little experience that we have gathered, we realize that as a pig farmer, if you are not careful, you might not make enough profit due to the cost of food. So in today's video, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be showing you how we feed our pigs. It is absolutely cheap, simple, plus the pigs are able to get all the necessary nutrients they require. That is their proteins, carbohydrates, minerals, and vitamins. So when we first received our piglets, we asked our vets about feeding them. And they told us about commercial feed, which we knew we could not afford. They also told us about a mixture of wheat bran, soya beans, and maize. And so in that case, we were going to buy a bag of maize, a bag of soya beans, and wheat bran, mix it together, and then give it to the pigs. And from the get-go, we knew we could not afford to feed them consistently with this. And we didn't also have the time to do this. So we had to find a replacement that was affordable and simple so wheat bran and maize are high in carbs and soya beans is high in protein so we needed something high in these two that is the protein and the carbs and then the idea just came what about watch if you've never heard of wache it is a very popular Ghanaian dish made from cooked rice and beans emphasis on rice and beans since they are high in carbs and protein and there are so many wache sellers on the streets of ghana because it's a very popular dish so what we did was we asked the wache seller we had been selling eggs to to give us her wache carpet that is what is left after the wache has been sold and she was more than happy to provide us with that and that is the main way by which we feed our pigs we sometimes give it to them just like that and sometimes to preserve it what we do is we dry it out break it down and then send it to the mill to convert it or to break it down into smaller pieces and then mix it with either maize leftovers which you can get at any corn mill it's not expensive sometimes we also buy wheat bran and add it to it so we have various ways of preparing their wache mix but their favorite based on how they react to it is the dried wache mixed with the maize leftover what we call a brasse and chi they absolutely love that so that is for their main dish apart from the wache we also give them our kitchen waste so we feed them with cassava peels, plantain peels, fruit and vegetable scraps like pineapple and cabbage peels. All the waste that you can find in a typical Ghanaian home, we give it to them. What we do not give them, however, is raw animal products such as raw meat and fish. 
because we can transfer diseases to them through this we however give it to them when it is cooked we also give them green leaves and these are important because it provides them with their vitamins and minerals so we give them plantain leaves boko boko leaves we also have a mini cassava farm on our land so we also give them cassava leaves so those are the green leaves that we give them. So in summary, that is how we feed our pigs. As I mentioned earlier, we do not spend a lot of money. It's cheap and it's also very, very affordable. I also want to mention that we feed them twice a day, in the mornings and in the evening. Their first dish is the wache or the wache mixture. It could be the wache and the maize or the wache and the mixed bran. Any mixture that we have available, we give that to them in the morning. It could also be the raw wache that does not have anything added to it. In the evenings, we give them our kitchen waste or the green leaves. So in summary, that is how we feed our pigs. As I mentioned, it is affordable and it is cheap it there's no stress in this and so this is what we wanted to share with you so remember to subscribe as i mentioned earlier leave a comment if you have a question you can leave it in the comments and i will attend to it and also remember to share our videos thank you so much for watching bye